Hey guys, it's Ted Bogard. We are back with the Ted Show. I'm so excited to have my dear, beautiful, stylish, talented friend, Jare James on the show. And she's got one of her uh, students, one of her dance uh, goddesses on the show, Michaela, with us from Hello. Inez Patricia School of Dance. And they have a winter showcase tomorrow evening that we're going to talk about. And then Michaela's going to give us a little performance. So what a great way to kick off the weekend. Welcome to you both. How you doing? Hey, thank you for having us again. I'm so excited. You know, anytime I can promote dance, since I don't know how to do it myself, I'm a big uh, proponent of it. So I, I love it. So tell us a little bit, Jare, about the school and you, and then Michaela can tell us a little bit about her. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. It's such a pleasure to be back on the TED Show again. Woo! Artistic Director of Inez Patricia School of Dance. And tomorrow we have three shows for our sixth annual Winter Showcase. Our Winter Showcase is just a showcase to show the parents a halfway mark of what the kids have achieved from August to December. So we have a one o'clock, a three, and a seven at Trinity Preparatory tomorrow. Um, between ages of two to 65 and everything in between, all genres of dance from ballet, jazz, hip hop, modern, tap, contemporary. So they'll get a whole plethora of, of the arts for tomorrow. Ooh, plethora, I like that word. <laughs> That's a big word. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a T word. You did. Oh. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. Right. All right, family show. So uh, Michaela, tell us about you. Hi, I'm Michaela. As you said, I'm 18 years old. I've been dancing for 16 years. Um, I've known Miss Dre since I was 10, so I've known her for eight years. Um, mm -hmm. At Inez Patricia, we are like a family. I was very welcomed and loved when I first joined, and um, it's a very, very, very good studio. We put in a lot of time and a lot of love, a lot of effort everything that we do, and we're very grateful for every opportunity that we have and that are coming our way and so i just want to say welcome so i love it so let me ask you michaela since i've had jure on let me ask michaela a couple questions michaela do you want to continue dance later on is this something you're going to do for life yes um after i graduate college with my business degree i want to move to new york and dance for avenue american dance theater and then after my journey with dancing is over. I want to open up my own studio. So I'm following in the footsteps of Miss Jure. So. You have motivated and inspired her, Jure. Yes, she is That's my So it's, it's, it's amazing to watch her progress and matriculate through her years of, in, you know, in the, our art form of dance. So it's a blessing. And I'm very humbled that, you know, she's a part of, of my family. And how do you choose? I, I think it's amazing. You could tell you guys have a bond and you all treat each other like family there. Um, how did you decide what kind of dance you wanted to focus on? Um, I first, actually through Ms. Dre, um, I met her at Howard. And um, when I moved to um, where she was teaching at, she had this style called Horton that she was teaching, and I fell in love with it. And then she introduced me to Alvin Ailey. And that's when I knew, because it just felt right. It felt like I belonged. So I knew that's what I wanted to do. Because my first love was and then she introduced me to Horton, so that's how I knew. So tell us about the show. So it's three shows tomorrow. Three it's shows. All, are all ages performing? Are there like little vignettes like the whole time, depending on the age group and the yeah. type of dance? It's going to have their little three to five minutes of fame tomorrow. <laughs> It's a, it's a very small VIP show. I'm in partnership with Great Oak Village, which was, is a foster care home here in Central Florida. So I have some of those beautiful human beings that'll be a part of the show tomorrow at one o'clock. So we wanted to give them, you know, an experience for them and their other, you know, fellow sisters that are at the village. So that's what the 1 p.m. show is. And then our three and our seven show is open to the public. I love it. And it's at Trinity. Yes, at Trinity Preparatory in their Black Box Theater. Fantastic. All right. So tell us we're I mean, what a blessing. We're going to have Michaela give us a little performance. And by little, there's nothing little about it. This is a lot of work and energy and effort. Blood, sweat and tears go into learning and perfecting and always working on your craft. Tell us what I'm going to take myself out of here because nobody wants to see me dance. Um, 
So tell us what you're going to perform. So I'm perform the original Alvin Ailey um, solo. Um, it's called Lift Every Lift Every Voice. And so I have learned it and so I'm doing um, one of the sol solos choreographed by um, Alvin Ailey. And so that's what I'm going to perform for you guys today. Fantastic. I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay. Let me move look, let me move out of the way. Oh, you got a good background there, yeah. Jure. I love it. Looking good. Yes, and my stands six feet tall, and she's eighteen. So she's those. Her nickname is Amazon. So you get to watch her. <laughs> Your mic is off. There we go. That's all right. We got to see her perform. We didn't get to hear the music, but we got to see her perform. Can you hear me? You can't hear me. Well, I can hear you. You can't. Hear oh, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, your First of all, that was beautiful. You look, you have legs for days. So, uh, but so elegant and graceful, very, um, I don't know, very poised, but elegant and expressive. It was beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So what's, what, are you performing this or a section of this for tomorrow night? Um, yes, this solo for the show's tomorrow, Janine Prep. Fantastic. All right, so how do people attend? How do they get tickets? How do they get involved? What if their kids want to become part of Inez Patricia School of Dance? Uh, what's the best way for them to reach you guys? Through our website, um, www.inezpatriciadance.com or on our social media media handles at uh, Facebook for Inez Patricia Dance and then Instagram at Inez Patricia. The link is in all of our bios for tickets for tomorrow. And then also on our website, you can register for class. We're on a two-week break, so we don't come in until January 5th. 
So we're on Christmas break. We start our spring semester, January 5th, 20. Fantastic. So much talent, Michaela. Thank you for taking the time out and doing that. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mesmerized. And all I could think about was I can't even barely lift my arms over my wow. head. I can't imagine getting my legs over my head. You got to come take class. Okay. That should be on a blooper reel if I ever come take a class. <laughs> but I would do it for fun and to learn. I, I'm fascinated by it. I just have no rhythm. I got you. Um, so I wish you all a very merry, merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Um, and thank you for what you're doing in the world, Jure. You're obviously inspiring and motivating um, and giving a lot of love and support to a lot of people. So uh, big kudos to you. You know how much I love and appreciate you. All right, y'all have a great one. Thank you. You guys go. This the show is going to be amazing. Winner showcase Inez Patricia School of Dance. You can go to Inez Patricia dance.com i know patricia dance.com thank you guys Mwah. beautiful break a leg not really but break a leg tomorrow right. <laughs> all right we'll see you guys soon bye everybody